Hey, Tommy from The Run Testers. In this video, I'm going to be doing a first run review of the Scarpa Rebel Run Calibra HT trail running shoe. Let's dive in. The Scarpa Rebel Run Calibra HT costs £175. It weighs in at 322 grams or 11.5 ounces for men in a size 8 and the drop is 4 millimeters. The Scarpa Rebel Run Calibra HT is a trail shoe designed for rough and uneven terrain. Designed for short, medium distances and sky running, the balanced layer of midsole foam excels at precision and stability, while a subtle level of softness means that there's still plenty of comfort. The Wrap360 lacing system uses a BOA technology dial to wrap the mesh microfiber upper around the foot with a few turns, allowing the runner to make small adjustments quickly when out on the trails. The outer layer of the shoe is coated by a presser rubber outsole for grip and durability, while the upper features a sock fit LW structure in the tongue to wrap around the foot with a snug feel. Okay, so the fit for me in this shoe, this is actually a size 8.5. I'm a size 8 in the UK, and I did find there was a little bit of extra space in the forefoot, so I probably would have gone down half a size if I could have done. The actual overall fit of the shoe is quite interesting because it uses this boa um, dial to actually lace up the shoe, which is the sort of technology that you often find on snow sh snowboarding shoes, that sort of thing. I've never actually used it. Uh, on a running shoe. I found it to be really, really comfortable. I could, after a few turns, I managed to get it down to a nice, comfortable, uh, secure fit, but didn't feel, it did feel like there was a bit of room in there as well. So I'm really impressed with the fit of these shoes, uh, if I'd gone down half a size to my actual size. Um, other things I would say about the fit is there is some padding, not loads. It's quite a comfortable shoe out on the run. Uh, I probably would have liked a little bit more padding. It has this uh, sock fit LW, uh, tongue design it's quite a thin tongue um, and I did feel that I wanted a bit more padding out on the trails but overall I found it to be a very comfortable fit uh, and I would stay to my size in this shoe if I had got it in my size so I've never tried a Scarpa trail running shoe out before I've used quite a lot of uh, Scarpa hiking boots and tested them out in the past on the mountains uh, but I've never tried a natural running shoe so I was quite interested to find out what this shoe was like um, I went out on a 15k run over the South Downs, which was a combination of a little bit of, sort of gravel tracks, a lot of mud, uh, some harder sections, a lot of climbs. I did about 300 meters elevation in it. Uh, so I tried a bit of everything really, lots of different terrains. I ended up running on the road for uh, the last couple of kilometers of it to get back to my house. Um, and I was really impressed on that first run actually. I, I didn't know, really know what to expect from a Scarpa uh, trail running shoe. Uh, and what I found is that this this version, the HT, uh, there's an ST as well. The HT is designed for um, harder ground, whereas the ST is designed for softer terrain, I'm, I'm assuming it means. So the design of this shoe is slightly different from the ST. I think it has a slightly uh, firmer midsole, a bit more stability in it, and it's really designed for those sort of technical terrains where uh, you're probably running on sort of mountain paths, things like that, uh, as opposed to softer trails like uh, in, in the woods or over fields. Um, so as a result, it's a little bit sturdier. Um, the midsole isn't too soft. Um, and it's quite a secure shoe. It really holds your foot in place quite nicely, which is what you want if you're doing technical terrain. Um, and what I found across all of those uh, different bits of terrain that I was running on uh, on the, that 15K is that it works surprisingly well on a lot of them. Um, I When I put on the shoe, I did think this is going to be quite a firm uh, trail shoe to wear, and for sections like uh, the road sections, I'm not going to enjoy it. But it's actually a fairly balanced midsole foam. It did feel quite comfortable, it's not by no means a soft midsole at all. It's, it is quite a firm midsole. But there is a nice little bit of give in it. On the road section I did, it did feel quite fine. It didn't It didn't feel too bad at all. It didn't feel like it de I desperately wanted to get back uh, onto, um, onto the trails with it. Yeah, it felt very comfortable. No issues at all with it um, when I was out there. On the other sections, so when I was running across the muddy sections and the grass, the outsole is actually, the lugs aren't massive, um, but it did a really good job of gripping. It's not Vibram, it uses uh, this presser rubber outsole. 
and it's did a very good job. I did a lot of climbs, a lot of declines. Uh, it was a bit wet, it was a bit slippy, and I had no issues at all in this. Felt really good. My friend who was running with me um, had some uh, cheaper uh, trail shoes on, which didn't have particularly good lugs, um, and he was slipping about quite a bit. So did a, did a really good job at that. Um, what I also found about the shoe is that it it's deceptively, it, it's a relatively heavy shoe. Uh, it came at about 322 grams in the size 8.5 for me. Um, which is quite a chunky shoe, but it doesn't feel like that. When you've got it strapped onto your feet and you're um, out there on the hills, like trying to run up a hill, it feels surprisingly lighter than, than it actually feels like when it's in your hand. Um, I felt like I could pick up the race quite nicely when I was running up and down the hills. Felt like I was in, fully in control with it. It's a very stable shoe, but also it's it is quite nimble as well. It, you, you do feel like you can sort of move around quite nicely. So it's definitely a shoe that is very good at those more technical elements. The outsole is actually a little bit softer than what I would have expected when I took it out of the box. It's it's a, quite a nice sticky outsole. So when you're on wetter paths or hardened ground, does a good job at gripping, didn't have any issues at all with it. Uh, I probably would have liked probably bigger lugs for the type of terrain that I run in in the UK. It's not, it wasn't bad on the mud uh, and it definitely didn't have any issues slipping around but I probably would want slightly bigger lugs for a lot of the runs that I, I, I would do on the South Downs, especially when it gets wet. Other thing I'd say about the shoe is that I did find this bow system works really well. It, I think there's a different type, the different types of bow system. I think this one was specifically di designed with Scarpa um, to work with a trail running shoe. And I think it's, it's got this 360 design, so it, when you tighten it, it straps all around the foot and sort of holds it in the right areas. And I think that did work quite well. I did find that once I pulled it open, got my foot in, that was completely easy. And it was only like two or three turns and it strapped down quite nicely and no issues at all. Uh, and when I took my shoes on and off halfway through the run to take some photos and some video, um, it was very quick to get them on and off. So I was very impressed with that. I, I, was, I was sort of expected this to be a little bit gimmicky and not work very well, but um, definitely thought it delivered a really nice lockdown fit and was very quick in doing that. So my early verdict on the uh, Rebella Run Calibra HT is I really like this shoe. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting to. I didn't know anything about this shoe before I tested it. It, on paper, probably isn't like the sort of shoe that I'd really like. But actually, it's a very balanced comfortable trail shoe that I found works across a lot of different terrains that I was running on. Um, it, I did assume that in some of the marketing material it talks about it being designed for sort of sky running and things like that. Um, but I actually did a really good job at the, the softer ground and the, the muddy ground that I, I took it on on the, on on the downs. I would say that it does feel a little bit like a faster shoe because of that secure fit. Um, there's probably it's probably not as loose or as comfortable as uh, I might want from a trail shoe if I'm just going to go for a light jog on the trails. It's definitely a shoe that's really focused on those more technical trains where you want that security, you want that support in the shoe, uh, and it does that very well. Uh, but I did find it comfortable, and I I did enjoy that. I'm really looking forward to using it more over the next couple of weeks. I was, I've actually got the South Downs Half Marathon on Saturday and I'm going to use this shoe for it uh, and see how it does over a half marathon race. But I'm quite looking forward to it because um, I think it's going to do a really good job. It, it feels like it, it would be a nice half marathon cruiser for a, a trail race. So looking forward to that. But all in all, very impressed so far. Looking forward to doing some more miles in it. It's definitely a little bit of an all-rounder shoe for me um, and with a nice balanced midsole. So that's it from me on this first run of the Rebel Run Calibra HT. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click that little bell. And don't forget we've got loads of other videos on the channel of the latest shoes and tech and kit out at the moment. And if you get the catch below, you find a link to the most recent podcast as well. So you can give that a listen. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you next time.